Okay, boys and girls, today I'm going to show you how to map your RAT5 mouse. This should work with a RAT3, RAT5, RAT7, RAT9. Through the profile editor, I've already went into the game and I haven't changed any of the default settings in the game to do anything. So, with that being said, find your profile editor, wherever it is on your computer. And we're going to go into programming. We're going to make a new. And each one of these is, will do an option. Of course, there's two, three, four, five, six programmable buttons. Actually, there's more than that, but... This is all that we're going to change is these right here. Now, I already had mine set up in BF3. I really liked it. So that's what I want this one to act like is BF3. I mean, hell, it's BF4. Shouldn't be any difference. So I'm used to the way it's set up, but they won't work in BF4 right now. So with that being said, this first one, I press it down, and that's what I want my throw grenade to be. So you come down here, and see this little arrow over here? You click on it, and you put new advanced command. Command name, we're going to say throw grenade. We're going to choose macro. We're going to click in there. Whoop, I better spell throw right click in there now in the game in your options key bindings it says throw grenade and the default setting is G so if you hit G on your keyboard it puts a hit it and release it you only hit it one time and it hits and releases so just go ahead and hit the G on your keyboard whoa do a little quicker don't hesitate on that key now, yeah, was it 048 or 38? There, 32. Yes, I like it. So, click OK. So now it says throw a grenade. So now in game, when I want to throw a grenade, I'll push the mouse wheel down. It'll throw a grenade. Precision aim. I have this set as my secondary weapon. Uh, let's be professional. Come on. Secondary weapon. Choose macro. Click in there. By default, secondary weapon is number two on your keyboard. Now, that's the key, the numbers above the letters, not on your numeric pad. So, uh, see if we can get that a little quicker. Yeah, there you go. Save that. Third button. Uh, that's forward button. Ooh, I want that to be my, label, my melee. Choose macro. By default, melee is F on the keyboard. So you want to punch the letter F. If we can get that any quicker. Mm, don't look like it. 48 it is. Next button is your back button. And I have that, I believe, as gadget 2. Which would be like your med pack. And stuff like that. So that is number four. Next one. I want that as my gadget one. Choose macro. By default, in BF4, gadget one is the number three. Awesome. Ah, uh, let's try to get 48. 
Whoa, getting slower. Ooh, 40. Awesome. So now, this one. As I have it set up as my primary weapon. Choose macro. Of course, that's number one. Try to get that better. The faster these numbers are, the faster it will react in game. Okay, so now I've programmed all the buttons. We want to save this as whatever you want to call it. I'm going to go BF4. Dash two, since I've already done this a few times. Save that. Activate it. So now you'll notice here that's already done. Profile will go BF. Where is it? <gasps> Where is it? Let's activate it. Test it. Okay, now, if I hit the mouse wheel down, it hits G. Precision aim, the little red button up there. Now I've drawn my secondary. First button, melee. Back button, gadget two. Roll the mill bounce backwards, that's three. Roll it forward, that's with your thumb, is one. Seems to work for me. So, thanks for watching. I don't know if this will uh, actually do in-game recording or not. Let's find out. Actually, make sure we get in one more nobody's in.